Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker campus and as always, it's a blessing to be with you today. As followers of Jesus, do you find yourself getting along with others, connecting with others, making new friendships, building community, or are you disconnected and find it difficult to make friends or even to get along with others? Well, Paul the Apostle tells us that one of the true marks of the Christian life is when we get along with one another. More than that, he tells us to live in harmony with one another. And for us to truly do that, we must be of one mind as Christians, having the same godly character and attitude towards one another. And Paul tells us exactly what we need to do to have that same mind. In Romans 12, verses 16, he says this, Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Never be wise in your own sight. He says the key to living in harmony with one another is to avoid thinking that you're better than others and wiser than everyone else. Instead, he says to embrace one another, make friends with one another, even if uh, you think you have nothing in common with them because you actually do. You know that what I love about being a follower of Jesus Christ is that all divisional walls come down. No matter what your past was, what your social status is or your economic status is, we all have Jesus in common. He is our common ground and he is our sure foundation. And when Jesus is at the center of our lives, we are reminded of his grace, his mercy and love. We are reminded that we don't deserve it and we can't earn it, but he gives it to us, he gives it to us anyways. And since we have freely received it, then we ought to freely give it out. You see, the character of the Christian life is marked by selfless living by putting the interests of others before our own and walking in humility. Living in harmony doesn't mean living in uniformity either, because here at Calvary, uniformity is not the goal. Unity in love is. And for there to be unity with one another, we must live in harmony with each other. Choosing to put away the old attitude, choosing to put away the old habits, the old you, and putting on the new self, and choosing to reflect Jesus more than ourselves. It's choosing to love one another despite your differences, because that's the way that Jesus loves us. Jesus said, by this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. So will you choose to get along with others? Will you choose to connect with others? Will you start to make new friendships? Get involved in a life group, take someone out for coffee or have lunch with them if you're able to. Because the best way to do community, the best way to live in harmony, is when we all have the same godly character and attitude, the same mind towards one another. God bless you.